All right, today we are working on a 2014 BMW i3. As you can see, it's got 50,000 miles on the odometer. It is a Rex model, so it has a gas engine, a two-cylinder BMW 600cc engine to uh, help it out if we run out of electrical power, which is great. That's why I like this car. But today, on my way into work, it uh, came up with a drive drivetrain malfunction error. It also noted that I could continue to drive the vehicle. And um, so I did. And I got to work, put it on the charger, and uh, charged it up, no problem. Took it off the charger, and the error is gone. This is the second time this has happened. And I'm gonna show you uh, a quick, easy thing that you can do to try to figure the problem out yourself. Um, the issue is with, um, since it's a high voltage vehicle, you uh, really should be trained. You really need to know what you're doing. If you don't, then um, you are limited to what you can actually do to this vehicle. You may still be able to check what I'm gonna show you to check to see if you can determine if the problem is a, a cable assembly or um, if you uh, are gonna have to leave um, a qualified technician with EV training to figure that out for you. But either way, um, we'll show you a couple things here. So I have already scanned the vehicle and um, we're gonna list the systems which have fault codes. Um, the EME has fault codes for um, high voltage electrical system isolation resistance below fault threshold. The second code there, the 2281, it says invalid, but I have some info here from uh, BMW's um, air system, which is um, aftermarket information. And this is a kind of a service information bulletin. Okay, the, these are the two codes we have, the 222814, 22280F, and we also had the, uh, those other two codes in the SME module, and um, those have yet, have gone away uh, since the fault has gone away. So this is what we're looking at. Um, there is a, there is a little bit of a um, information as to what to check here. You know, we wanna kind of troubleshoot the um, fault if it cannot be produced we want to find out all of this information but in the uh in my during my research i have found that the cable this number three in the picture that's the high voltage cable going from the battery to the eme that cable um, they've updated it. And when BMW updates parts, they use index numbers at the end of the part number. And the higher the index number, the latest the version. So what we wanna do is make sure that this part, this part here has a higher index than two or one actually. So if it's a two or above, we're good. If it's one or lower, which would probably be zero if they even make a zero, um, I think it starts with one though, if, he, if but I'm not, don't quote me on that. Um, but I think it starts with one. If it's a one or a zero, it uh, needs to be replaced automatically and then continue our diagnostic, but that's probably all it is. Um, here we have a bulletin that I found. Um, and there is a bunch of stuff here. And this is where the HV cable shows us the part number. Okay, there's another bulletin I found that indicates to look for the index coding. I, uh... So this is the bulletin here that shows that if the cables has an index of two or higher, then, um, you know, it, it's likely not the cable. But if it's below a two, you replace the cable. And this is assuming that you've already made sure that the fault is not present and is intermittent. Because if it's present, you should be having a qualified EV technician uh, run a 
insulation test on all of the cables. But since the problem had gone away, you know, it's the insulation test is not going to come up with any results um, or any failures. So, so we've already removed the uh, the plate here, um, took the screws out, and we're just going to pull this up. And let me just tell you that if you don't know what you're doing, if you see this and you don't know what to do, put this cover back on and take it to a mechanic that knows what they're doing because the voltage that can be in these cables um, takes about a tenth of a second before it starts doing serious harm to you and you have no chance on it making it out alive. So I'm telling you right now, uh, do not mess with this if you don't know what you're doing. There's, there could be extremely high voltage, especially we're looking at a high voltage isolation fault, which means that the voltage in these cables is not consistent with what uh, the computer thinks it should be. So we already know there's a fault here. And um, this cable here, that is the cable that goes down to the high voltage battery. That's the cable that we think has probably been updated. It goes down and I'm gonna um, pick the car up and I'm gonna show you where it goes and I'm gonna show you where the tag is and I'm gonna show you how to read it. So here's the back of our uh, BMW, the Rex going forward. This is the driver's side rear tire. If we look up, right up here. So this is the driver's side rear tire, right inside the tire. You look underneath, that's where our connection is. If we look up here above the frame, that's the tag, the white tag, right there. Can't read it which means that you have to um, move it so that you can read it. But now, just remember, this car has a high voltage isolation fault, which means that there could be a high voltage leak in these wires, which means that you should not be touching these with anything other than a hand with a high voltage certification these are good for a thousand volts i think i'm good so do not touch this unless you're wearing a tested certified recently certified glove and i'm going to try to spin this to read it and we've got a part number nine three four six five seven three dash zero one the dash zero one is the index number this cable is the original cable needs to be replaced plugs in here goes up here ac compressor runs around goes along and then it it ends up going up I don't see it there. It ends up going up. You can see it there. See it orange, and then it goes straight up. So you can tell this is not going to be uh, the easiest cable to replace. There it is. There you can see it. Uh, this cable um, goes there. It looks like this panel right here probably needs to be taken down. It may, it may not actually be that difficult. We'll find out. The part is, um, there is two available. There's the part number again. Um, you know, it, it says here just, it says any, you know, I3 and Rex. So um, this is specific to this car. So, um, but if you have a, an older Rex and uh, you have that code, and you look at this uh, high voltage cable part number and it uh, has an index of one, then uh, you could probably uh, have your mechanic or a certified mechanic that is certified in EVs um, replace this. Otherwise, you know, that, uh, like I said, it, high voltage is very dangerous and you just wanna make sure that um, you have the proper training equipment and, um, once you get zapped with it, it's it's over. There's no um, there's no second chance. So, 
just, uh, you know, I'm going to set another video um, later of me replacing this cable as soon as it comes in, but they say four to six weeks. So um, subscribe to my channel and you can, uh, you'll be notified when I put the uh, video up and you can see how it, how it goes. Thanks for watching.